Hey there, my name is Anto Sprite and I wanted to show you something I was working on quite a while now. It's a new method of launching projectiles in Space Engineers. I saw nothing similar on this workshop yet, so I decided to show it off to give an inspiration to the community. But before I do that, I wanted to go through the current, uh, the two current existing ways to launch a kinetic ammunition. Uh, so the first method is very common, it's basically a rocket, it stands from a thruster and a power source. Uh, the thruster has override on and it's off, so if you activate it, it launches like this. Uh, let me switch the camera. As you can see, I made a test range with a target it's uh, 10 layers of heavy armor and if we go in there you can see it goes more than halfway through uh, of course you can make it much more stronger than and it can go entirely go through but it's the simplest rocket that can also do the do a lot of damage so uh, it's pretty simple not so expensive can deal uh, great damage if it's well designed and you can also remote control uh, with a script if you want and of course it works in planetary gravity it has some disadvantages though um, it accelerates relatively slow you can easily counter it with rocket turrets and if you build one which can actually survive uh, it becomes really expensive so it's a it's a good way to uh, launch something but it's not the best but uh, let's look at the next and the second actually the second and the last uh, way to launch a projectile uh, while the ship is being stationary I have to I have to say it because there are, there are more uh, ways to do it but if you want to stay stationary while you're shooting then these are the two main methods so this is the next one uh, this is I was working with all along with the Dust Eagle project I'm sure that everyone who has this game built thing like this at least once it's also pretty simple it needs a gravity generator a power source and the mass block the projectile uh, and uh, if you want to go a bit cheaper you can um, put the gravity uh, generator on your ship instead of the projectile and also leave the power source and the mass block out and just use space balls Sorry if I'm a bit jerky, but, um, but the problem is I'm 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 recording while uh, while I'm speaking. I mean I'm playing while I'm talking, so maybe my talk will be a bit scrappy. So let's go on. Uh, so it actually, actually, it's also pretty simple. Um, it has some disadvantages, though. Ah, well, first of all, let's talk about the, the advantages. Uh, the projectile can go pretty fast. It has some tricks. Uh, if you work with it, then you can build one which can go faster than the vanilla game allows. So even without space uh, speed mods uh, on the server or, or on your world, you can create much faster project projectiles. So it's actually really nice um, it has a lot of firepower uh, and of course if you are crazy enough then you can build a lock-on system on it and this is it but it had a lot of disadvantages though mm, it can be really expensive if you want to go or if you want to get decent damage output the power source must be 
uh, a reactor because batteries still have a bug while detaching from merge blocks. But if you use reactors, then you need to fill them up with uranium, which can be really complicated with connectors, of course, uh, or basically every system what you use can be really complicated to fill up uh, a reactor on a separated uh, object as on a separated ship and uh, of course you also need a sensor on it uh, which uh, switches off the mass blocks uh, after it's launched because uh, if uh, you leave the mass blocks or the space balls on then the enemy can just defend itself uh, with a simple gravity shield which is not so nice <clears throat> and uh, of course it doesn't work in planetary gravity so what else we can use ah, by the way I forgot to launch it let's see the damage by the way it has a lot of damage and as you can see it can go all the way through 10 it, for the record this is 10 layer heavy armor this is insane and this is it's it's only uh kinetic weapon it's and and vanilla and had has no explosives or anything i'll just show it to you it's 10 10 layer heavy armor and even with this little small projectile you can create a lot but this small projectile is still expensive for me for me of course so let's go back and this is the third method but i didn't want to mention it because uh, it seems it doesn't work anymore it's actually wanted to be a pressure gun uh, which uses the uses the air compression uh difference uh, so if i open the door then these should go out but they don't because i don't know why never mind maybe it's i don't know i just built it crappy but it doesn't really do too much damage though so but it was worth to mention and of course you can uh, build a ship uh, with the merge block and you can just accelerate and and uh, detach the uh, projectiles while you're moving and it's, it's also working like that but I don't like this version so I didn't even make a, uh, an example so let's move on so what what else you can do uh, in space engineers what else you can use to accelerate something to to shoot something uh, of course there are rotors and pistons and the ro uh, the pistons are not so efficient because um of course as you can see if i just launch it it pushes the projectile out but it's really really slow and of course you can stack the pistons up uh, so you can achieve much higher speed uh, because the the big pistons are uh, can go five meters per second as I know and if you stack it up of course you can make a make a really fast uh, piston you can accelerate it uh, to a really high speed but of course then you have to stack up a lot of it at least I don't know ten pistons which uh, not just making it less performance friendly but uh, it also won't work really nice in multiplayer and yeah, actually it's not the best idea so let's move on to the next one which is a rotor but so how can you shoot something out with a rotor of course not with spinning because it's, it would be really difficult to transform the spinning uh, energy into something what can push a uh, projectile out or, or shoot so we I started to use um, a property of a, a rotor which is called displacement and as you can see if I go to the rotor and uh, 
set the rotor displacement and actually pushes the block away and uh, if you can uh, change the displacement enough fast then it can actually go really really fast it can shoot the projectile and uh, in a, at a really high speed so let's move on uh, so what I did there is actually stack up two rotors and I experimented with this a lot and I realized if I uh, stack up more than three rotors on each other then it won't really increase the the power it can uh, put out uh, and it's also become more unstable it doesn't work in multiplayer and and it's also bigger so it, there's no point to make a bigger spring a rotor spring like that so a for this i made a script with easy automation uh, i'm already using the 2.0 version which just came out in, in these days so let's check this yeah, so actually this is it i changed the displacement of the dot rotor to maximum and if i press that then it pushes the block away and it doesn't look great does it well the problem is uh it's this this block isn't attached to this grid so the problem is it just bounces off from the surface of the rotor head so you need to make it part of the grid to actually uh, make it efficient in this next example i attached the these two heavy armor blocks to the rotor head and uh, what i did there is actually uh, detaching uh, the the script will detach this last rotor part so once the rotor spring just uh, pushes the projectile uh, away from the ship uh, the last rotor part de detaches so it's able to shoot so let's let's see by the way i can show the script it's pretty simple this is it well this this next thing is just for retracting it's not important so if i press these buttons then it pushes the projectile away to really really high speed and if you can check if you can if you see course you can because I show <laughs> never mind so uh, as you can see it doesn't penetrate too much in because uh, mm, it's uh, the, the project that isn't heavy enough and uh, and detaching the rotor isn't result as high uh, velocity than the the competitions so and it's also really not good at uh, reloading it's really difficult to reload this type of gun because uh, to reload it you need to make a new projectile and something what uh, pushes it back and then make a script for uh, attaching the rotor head and then it's, it's not so good and it's not really not working in survival it's really not working in multiplayer it's really difficult it's not so not so good way to go like this so the next example is actually one of the final version uh, which actually doesn't detach the last rotor head but switches off uh, these merge blocks so they're detaching the, the projectile detaches from from the spring and uh, this scan of course I can show the script again if you want this is it and if I press this button it runs the script and as you can see it goes way faster and it one shot can penetrate 10 armor blocks you can see it's really really it has a really 
really a lot of power. It went way through. So let's pop back. The, the problem is with this concept is actually if you use merge blocks uh, in, in this way then you can't really make a heavy projectile because if you make it too heavy or too big then the merge blocks just can't cope with that uh, amount of force it gets when it's detaching so it, it can crash itself and uh, that's a really good, good. but uh, it as I said if you make a small projectile like this one or a bit bigger then of course it works so it's a way to do that and uh, in this next example what I tried to do is actually use a landing gear instead instead of the uh, merge block uh, so maybe I could make a much larger projectile of course we all know the uh, the landing gears are really really strong so I wanted to try it out as you can see if I go in the script you can see it just unlocks the landing gear after it changes the displacement and if I just press these buttons as you can see it, tra uh, it transfers the energy of the rotor but it just bounces off so it's not so stable uh, it's it's not a good idea on its own but if you combine these two techniques then you can get something like this and this is the new RBSA the rotors based spring action cannon which is actually combining these two uh, technologies or, or, or methods how you like to call it to one so actually you can make much bigger projectiles and uh, as you can see the merge block merges the projectile to the ship directly and if I press this button it's a bit more complicated though if I show the script because uh, first of all it's it changes the displacement of the rotor uh, and it switches off uh, the merge block and unlock the landing gears immediately. Uh, note that, that this script won't work with uh, AZ Automation 2.0, it only works with the old version. I don't know why, probably because uh, the new version uh, can uh, handle the milliseconds much more precisely. So this old version won't work. Uh, but this this will actually work here because I'm on this example I'm using the older easy automation script so if I press this button then it reloads the gun it welds it up and it's locked in place and if I press this button again you can see wait I try, try to make a better Sight. If you see, I've pressed the button, and it just punches its way through. It makes a really lot of damage. And again, this is ten, ten layer of heavy armor, and has no other components. Just heavy armor, light armor, and one single merge block, nothing else. And uh, yeah, this is it actually. Uh, let's talk about the advantages and the disadvantages. First of all, it has a lot of advantages. Uh, for example, it's really cheap. Uh, as you can see, you don't need anything else, just a merge block, and you can make your projectile however you want you can slap uh, explosives on it or or anything you like um, it's also pretty fast it accelerates immediately to the maximum speed because the rotors when it's extending the displacement uh, 
is uh, extending, then it actually uh, speeds the projectile up to its maximum speed the engine allows. So if I put the cockpit here, whoops, and I sit in, and probably I have a launch button. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's 102.9. It's actually because the projector is a bit heavy. More the pro more it heavy it gets, the slower it becomes, of course. But it's still a l really, really fast. And uh, the also the the other advantage is it works in planetary gravity it works in survival and it works in multiplayer i tested it i didn't really believe it it will work but it worked and uh yeah this is it and the adva the disadvantages um are it's actually not much of course uh it has because uh it's actually Mm, more like a physical reaction than uh, I mean the ship does the physical work not the projectile so actually I, I will show you if I go to another camera angle you can see if I press T it has some recoil but of course you can compensate it with uh, some uh, gravity and, and mass blocks but uh, I found it cool so I didn't want to compensate it and this is it I made a new Desert Eagle version out of it this has the same uh, launching method as the ship next to it it uses the same everything is the same and uh, it's not finished yet. Uh, it, it will. It won't be finished uh, for a while because I don't have much time to finish it right now. But I will finish it. But I wanted to release it now, and uh, then you can tell me how you like this concept, uh, or maybe I don't know. Just, just, just make make a, a better modification or, or a better version out of it. Feel free to modify it, feel free to uh, upload uh, a modified version, I don't mind. Uh, but please, if you modify it, then, then put and re-upload it on the workshop, please put uh, the original uh, link into the description of your ship. I would much appreciate it. But of course, if you don't, then you don't. So, actually... I sit in and uh, if you see this won't shoot uh, if the projectile isn't inside and I have to mention you shouldn't paste into your world with the projectile inside because it will blow up or it won't shoot so and, and the rotors are breaking off because of the landing gear so it's it's not uh, not recommended to paste it with, with the projectile on. So, whoops. So it's not recommended to uh, to paste it. But as you can see, if I press the shoot button doesn't allow you to shoot because there's a sensor in there which detects uh, if the ammunition is going out from the barrel and if it isn't then it uh, thinks the uh, projectile is jammed inside the barrel so it doesn't uh, let uh, you to operate the gun so you need to reload it first and then it switches to online then you can shoot it and as you can see it has a lot of damage and of course it has a really really high firepower firepower 
if I press it enough fast. It already punched its way through. And of course, if you want to change ammunition, you can go to the projector. I will upload uh, a few different uh, ammunition types if you want. Um, I will definitely upload. And uh, there's an explosive version. Of course, you need to shoot one to empty the magazine. And uh, this has a lot of... Uh, well, this has a lot of warheads in, attached to it. This, I don't know, 50, 15, yeah, it's actually 15 warheads. <clears throat> but of course, it's not so effective against heavy armor. You can, I will just shoot one. It's not really, not really effective. This has a slide though. But <laughs> the explosion with this new particle effects are looking pretty awesome. It's not so effective. But if uh, if I paste something like a red ship that's the first red ship. Oh, never mind, I wanted to paste the other one. So it's the first red ship Keen Software House ever made. And if I go in, go back in, and lock on, and shoot it, it can actually vaporize the whole ship. Oops. So it's much more effective against uh, against uh, light armor and heavy armor. But if you want to shoot something which has heavy armor, then an armor piercing projectile is much more recommended. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I wasn't so professional. Uh, but if you like this video then press the like button if you hated this video and you think I'm crap then just push the dislike button I don't mind and uh, leave a comment what do you think about this new method and uh, see you next time